Gazans are crowding into schools and hospitals in the Strip, which is under full Israeli blockade, leaving food, water, fuel and medical supplies running desperately low. After a ninth night of intense Israeli bombing, Gaza's health ministry says the death toll is now at least 2,750. More than 1,000 Palestinians are now thought to be trapped under rubble. A deal appears close to opening the Rafah crossing into Egypt for foreigners to leave and for aid to come in, but Israel has denied there's any ceasefire. Its ground forces are massed at the border, ready for an invasion it says will destroy Hamas. Israel now says Hamas is holding 199 hostages in Gaza, seized during the October the 7th attack, which killed more than 1,300 people. Israel is also evacuating residents from 28 communities along its border with Lebanon. Tension has been escalating there with Hezbollah and Hamas, both of which are backed by Iran, launching missiles and exchanging fire with Israel over the weekend.